guys okay so i am just getting ready i literally just got a couple goodies in i'm gonna try these brow pomades and put a face on oh i have a lot to do today so we are flying out this week we are going to bring a bunch of stuff with us well not we i am going to bring a bunch of stuff with me for disney and just kind of load up that disney house and just get it all ready i have a closet here that has a tremendous amount of disney goodies in it like backpacks like all lounge fly backpacks sweaters cute skirts just stuff that i wear in the parks so there's no point at all in it being at this house so it will be transported with us on our journey and i need to empty out that closet today i'm going to clean the house i need to do my nails these have lasted so well so you guys always ask me how i do my nails so i figured today see one of them's missing i figured today i would take you through that and put a face on at the same time we are vlogging on a new camera which excites me so you guys let me know if the quality is good because here's the thing heading into fall videos which yes it's coming i want to do more vlogs so that you guys can see around the house like i want to take you outside and show you the construction like i want to i want to take you places but here's the thing with my big camera i can't bring you guys everywhere so now i can't this stuff is the best i put this on my face every single freaking day and i'm i believe there's a new one coming out with higher spf i just don't know the details yet but i do have a code for this and it is the best all fray products are the best ever i think it's like angie b is the code i'll leave it down below but i have partnered with them i've been partnered with them for years like that's pretty cool right so you can you grab from the little pot and then you can take the excess off on that little pink siding, siding thing. I think that's so cool. And the brush is really good. Look at how, look at how beautiful this palette is. It's an Alice in Wonderland British Museum. Look how pretty the colors are. Best highlighter ever, Benefit cookie and then the other one i got one in disney too it has the pink i think it's called tickle or something it's the best like look it's the best and i feel like it's the most natural i say that because i used to use jeffree star highlighters which are like <laughs> i'm gonna go have breakfast i need coffee you guys probably have your tumblers by now and if you don't donuts dumbbells and dreams.com all the merch has been launched so freaking cute. I'm I'm so proud of these tumblers and the mugs. Oh, I love them. Let's go eat. Uber Eats is delivering our egg McMuffins. This is the joys of vlogging. Carl, you want to say hi? This is his favorite hangout spot. So usually I do my makeup back here. Look at this. So the backyard is completely dug up now. Where there was a big pool, there is now a house. So we have our little pool down there completely redoing the backyard. It's a very like urban backyard I, I feel like that would be the way to describe it like it's it is not big but we will make it cute and go outside let me show you the chaos that is our backyard so last year around this time i had done a full vlog about the progress of our backyard and there was no point in any of that the only thing okay listen there was a point in doing it because we now have a pool and that pool if you guys remember if you saw that vlog comment down below if you were part of it we had to suspend this. It's like a, I don't know. It's, it's a pool. It's not a hot tub. It's very little. Can you see it? Okay. So you can see the pool back there. It's like the coolest little pool. It's like a, you can use it 365 days a year, especially in Canada. That matters. I know. It, listen, if you're in Florida, I get it. You can use your pool all year round. We can't. So it's half hot tub, half pool. It's pretty big for a hot tub, I guess. So yeah, you can see it back there. It has the cover on. We recently did all of the screens in here, but where our pool was, I will take you outside, to everyone asking where our big pool is. <laughs> Yay! So this is exactly where it was. It was like on this lot, and now there is a house here. Yay, our neighbors. We love our neighbors. It's our parents. <laughs> we know them, so it's fine. So this is all gonna be fenced in all along here. We're gonna raise the back, probably about there, and this is gonna be flush. Ooh, we have some little, look at this. 
all the little furry paw prints. I'll just put it out there. I like the Florida backyard a lot more as of right now. But I do think this is gonna have its own vibe. It's gonna be ultra modern. We're gonna do like some tall grasses. It's gonna be cool. I just wanna say, I feel, I was gonna say, I feel like it's taken a year. It's taken longer than a year. It, it feels like it's been forever. The guys had to move the chair right in front of the door. Let's move, let's move this. Looking good. This is my little baby chlorinator in here. It smells clean. We've had it cleaned and vacuumed. So for the longest time, no one wanted to come and help us fix up our pool or open our pool for the season because everyone just said it's not a pool it's just a hot tub it's a little baby pool it needs to be cleaned and chlorinated and i don't know how to do these things and like leveled out and all that stuff so it's uh it's much better than it was the the, the jets were actually clogged with rocks because whenever it was put in it was put in during construction so we're good now i do think we have a little critter that lives under the hot tub but that's okay his name's Alvin. He's a chipmunk. Are you ready to have our breakfast? We're going to have our McDonald's breakfast. Our McDonald's is here. Are you thrilled? I'm pumped. Andre's favorite thing on the entire planet is McDonald's. Location, yeah. Yeah, it got transported. Kind of like Lost, it got transported to a new location. You, you're obsessing over Lost lately. I'm, I'm a lot of okay, so talking a lot about it. I think that I'm going to jump back into Lost. I know, you told me that. For fall. Thank you for putting my orange juice in a cuppy. Uh -huh. Look at my one little sad nail. I'm gonna show everybody how I do my nails at home. I've mm -hmm. been doing my nails and my hair, but I just got my hair done, so I'm not a complete disaster. I'm getting a lot of questions about what I had done at the salon. Well, hi Carl, do you wanna sit with me? I got it just colored and trimmed, that's it. Like nothing fancy. Mm -hmm. That's good though. Thank you, but I hadn't gone to the salon in like how long? Since Two years almost? December 2019. You want to sit with me? So that's what you're doing today? Well, it's, it's not my only plan for the day, I but I'm going to, that, yeah. I'm going to clean the, I'm going to empty out the Disney closet and bring it to Disney. Mm -hmm. I got my, um, bat backpack. You found it? Found it. Thank God. Okay. Do you want to sit with me? Like a, like I a real, food. sit like a real little boy. Okay. Like a polite little guy. This is the Disney closet. It's not that exciting, but it's just where I keep all my backpacks. My ears are in here. I wasn't even able to wear these last year. I got a bunch of Halloween ears and we had to cancel our trip. And we usually go for my birthday and then go to the Halloween party. I'm booked for the Halloween party. I had a mild heart attack though. So I went to book it. I said to Andre, I was like, let's just book it. Like, let's just get it done. And I go to book the Boo Bash and it was almost completely sold out for the time that we were going. I don't know if it's completely sold out now, but we booked it. So we're going on like a Tuesday evening. I'm so excited. So I'm going to basically, I'm going to empty out this whole closet. I've got ears up there. I'm going to empty everything out and pack it all up. So under here I have spirit jerseys and I have tank tops that I've gotten in the parks. And then under there I have some shoes. Oh my God, look at how cute these are. A subscriber painted these for me. She said like, what's your favorite? My Disney music is obnoxious. Isn't this incredible? So they're vans, I'm gonna bring them with me. It's like all Disney food. She said like, what's, I think she asked, what's your favorite Disney movie? And I was like, I like Disney food. <laughs> so and they're just like a scrump. So I painted these ones <laughs> and Pudge. This is the front of these ones. Cute, right? Look how cute this is. It's a little skirt. Isn't that amazing? So let's empty this out. I had to get changed and change the music because it wasn't vibing with me. I love these scrunchies. They're from Sewing Sweethearts. So I, I have all of her headbands. I love her. And I put on my brunch babe tank top and some cozy shorts. And now we empty out the Disney closet. I made these. And if you want to see how I made them, there is a video on it. They're my donut ears. 
and I have more at the Disney house. I'm gonna need to get another stand for my ears, I think. So for this trip, I'm gonna bring the Halloween ones and then I'm gonna bring some of these cute pink ones. I'm gonna bring these. These are really cute too. These would be cute birthday ears. Oh my gosh, imagine, imagine going through security. They're gonna be like, what's wrong with you? So this, I bought these to go with this bag. I love this bag. And I also have the, the coveted rose gold bag that everybody went crazy over. I love this one. This was one of my first ones. Like, I mean, if I need a lot of things for dinner. Cute, right? This was from one of my very first trips to Disney. And I met Phineas and Ferb and they were fascinated by my Perry, the platypus toy. Christmas backpacks, Buddy the Elf. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. And this, the fanny pack, a little glitter fanny pack, which I thought would be a good idea. Does it fit my phone though? Here's the thing, a lot of Loungefly stuff doesn't fit a 12 Pro Max. This does. I'm so using this. I'm so using this for a park. Oh my God, yes for drinking around the world. Maybe in my heart of hearts, I thought this would be a cool purchase. It is cool, but here's the thing. It doesn't fit anything. It doesn't fit my phone. I got this on clearance at Hot Topic. Lotso on here. This was one of my very first Disney backpacks. It's from the Disney store. Super cute though. I don't know where this is from. I think the Disney store also. This is a Christmas find that I got at the character warehouse. Freaking love it. <gasps> And he was one of my first ones. He was one of my very first ones. He was from Amazon. Oh my God, he's cute. Isn't that adorable? Yeah, these can all come. So I have to fill my, my luggage with all of this, <laughs> all of these essential items. I think I'm gonna bring our spirit jerseys from the Donuts, Dumbbells, and Dreams collection because secretly I like them more. This, they're more lightweight and they're more flattering. Take me to the castle. It's probably my favorite one. I don't wanna be biased, but I think this is the best one. This is the dream big one, the little stripes. And then if I go to breakfast, we have breakfast. Andre booked, he, he can't keep secrets. Oh, Hannah, someone once asked me if now that we live so close to Disney if the magic goes away. Does it look like it goes away? But this is a lie. I just really liked the shirt, but I'm full out lying. I was made in the 80s. Opinion, can you wear Disneyland things in Disney World or, is, or do you just look like you're confused? Or do you look like you're worldly? This was a, one of the first, this is a coolest shirt. This was one of the first team up roar tank tops that we did for our coaches. How cool is that? I feel like all my current coaches right now are gonna be so jealous. Maybe we should do it again. Working on my roar, team up roar. Having way too much fun. Like this, with this. You know what, actually I'm sure I've done it. It's probably on my Instagram somewhere. So these three are filled with all of the tank tops and t-shirts that I showed you. the OG and this one was so hard to get and I got it like right at the right time I think I got it in the parks this is the newest I love him so it can be converted into a purse or a backpack so there's clips on the back I also have another Halloween one and I think it's in my Halloween decor bins which I just I felt you light up from across the world if you're watching this <laughs> I think I need to go get the Halloween bins because I'm pretty sure that's where the pumpkin one is and I need to bring it with me. So I'm gonna go get the Halloween bins. Hi, Puppet. Are you in your chair? Are you in your bean bag? Do you love your bean bag? Look at how little you are in this whole big bean bag. You're very bougie, you know, most dogs just have a dog bed. Can you hear him typing? That's daddy. Okay, let's go see daddy. Hi, so I was wondering, 
How do you feel about helping me get the Halloween bin zzz out? No, I'm not doing that today. I just need I need my backpack, and it's in the bin. It is in the bin, isn't it? It is in the bin. Come on, Carl. We're gonna go get treasures. Do you guys want to visit the Christmas closet? I feel like I can hear you be like, yes! <laughs> yes, I do! It smells so good. I visit it all the time. This is the Christmas closet. It's, um, as you would say, um, jam-packed. Like nothing more can fit in here. Oh my god, it's like a sauna in here. Were you able to find it? I got Do you want them all or just one? We can bring them in. Okay. This is, so I organized it. So these, these two rows are all Halloween. Oh yeah, I need him. He goes on my backpack. Okay, so, sorry, what, what am I doing here? Am I taking everything in or let's am I just, just looking for the backpack? Let's just bring them in. Bring everything in? Let's just do it. And we'll stack them in the gym. Cause we need to start decorating soon. Thanks babe. Mm -hmm. This look. That's the one you're looking for? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. How, Carl, you made it in here. Okay, you know what we'll do? So these are my transitional ones. Farm Fresh Pumpkins goes from September and then October 1st we put out a bunch of Hocus Pocus. So this can stay in here. I'll contribute, I'll bring this in. I feel like this, these need to come back. So we're, we're gonna launch fall merch. It's coming, it's coming. <gasps> Babe, look what I just found. Okay, yes, I found the backpack and then this little guy. But look, pumpkin chai latte, and then pumpkin berry crunch, pumpkin crunch berries, pumpkin crunch berries from confectionery. I kept them in the, the Halloween bins. This is, the, this is my first sniff of anything pumpkin spice this year. Oh, babe, I'm ready. Carl, are you excited for Halloween? Carl hates Halloween. This is elite. He has to dress up. Do you guys? Do you guys have guesses as to what Carl's gonna be this year? I don't even really know. Should we, should, do we have ideas as to what Carl's gonna be this year? Do I have an idea? Do you wanna be a part of our family costume? <laughs> it all depends on what it is. I always feel like you should be Wreck-It Ralph and I should be Vanellope. Then who's Carl? Fix-It Felix. Oh you have the same personality as King Candy. I'm just kidding, Carl. You could be Wreck-It Ralph. You're a little bit gingery. Hello, everybody. That's a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. This is like to the level that we had of Christmas when we first started. It's the, coming from the girl that did not Your like Halloween. Oh, yeah, Close. coming coming from the girl that did not like Halloween. Halloween. Anyone? Like how, 60, real fast. three years ago? We're not decorating until a little while. <gasps> so many treasures, squishmallows. Lie down. Ears. Okay, so we have backpacks and ears. These need to come to the Disney house. I swear if a spider jumps out at me though, it's gonna be a lot. Look. Go get it! Go get him! Carl, so excited. We are officially ready for Halloween. So the next time we see this, we're gonna be decorating. We're back in my beauty room and I'm grabbing my nail stuff. So I organize everything usually in just a little grab and go bin. And the gel nail polish, especially if you do the UV lamp, like the new UV lamp. So I, I upgraded, I had an older one, just got a new one. Oh, I have to show my other fall finds before we set up. All right, so my first trip to Bath and Body Works, I got this and it holds their soaps. And I always feel like their soaps just look kind of sad by themselves and I have a bunch of them. So I thought, okay. And then one of you guys messaged me and said, there's a candle holder like that. There was one left at the mall. So I grabbed a candle with it. I grabbed one. I kind of regret not getting, there's a purple one that looks just like this. And it reminds me of the Haunted Mansion and the purple would have gone, you know what, we're just gonna order it. Now I say things out loud to you guys and then I go order it right after. Love, isn't he adorable? 
And then I got this with one of these. So I got pumpkin clove, which is so good. And then you guys messaged me again and you said, there's a bat one of this, but I thought he was cute. And he's like, he's like 3D and iridescent. So maybe I'll get the bat, I don't know. So the very first thing I do is I use a tool like this that you can get off of Amazon. And I just scrape off any remaining, remain, remaining, <laughs> remainder remaining nail polish or like dead stuff. And I just kind of go along the nail and I smooth it out like that. So once I've gone through with this tool, I clean under the nail and then I clean under the cuticle after it's been pushed down and lifted. So I will push down like that and then I clean under and I kind of lift it so that then after I've trimmed, so I usually will trim and then file, which is done. And then I will go through with this little guy. And this is the part that in the nail salon gives me anxiety because they go, they go savage with it, like totally ham. So you're supposed to just clear off the bottom part, like just the tip of the cuticle, like the dead skin basically. And you, it's kind of counterintuitive. You gotta go like the, on this part is what cuts. I used to think it was this way. Then I will usually go through and buff and file. Now we're ready to paint and I will show you how I prep the nail before I paint. So the next thing I do is the secret, I guess, as to how it stays on for so long. Like three weeks is pretty solid and I watched them at the nail salon and this is what they did. So you take your nail file and you kind of rough up the surface of the nail and then don't mess with it afterwards. So I just kind of go along the nail and I create a rougher surface and then I will, you can buy this anywhere. So it's called a nail primer. Ultimately what I believe it is, is just acetone. You could probably use rubbing alcohol too, but just get the nail primer. You can get it off of Amazon. And when you put it on the nail, and again, don't touch it with any natural oils of your finger. And I just kind of dab it on the nail and I completely saturate the nail with it. And what it does is it basically dehydrates it so that the oil, the natural oils from your finger, the, nothing will slip off of it. So I'll show you up close what it looks like. So let's do it with this one. So I will rough up the nail and I go all the way to the bottom. Now that my cuticle is clean, so see how it's like a rough edge. And then I'll take the primer and just kind of cover the nail with it. So once you start painting, you need a base coat so I always do a base coat and I just do one layer of that. So what I do now, because I have the lamp, is I do both, that sounded very like Aladdin, because I have the lamp. So I do both hands and then it's a two hand nail lamp. So I will show you how that works. So just one layer of the base is good. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is use this color changing polish, but I don't want the color I think whenever your hands are warm, so it goes based off of the temperature of your nails or hands. I don't love that it's white. I don't love that it's clear. So I'm gonna put gold underneath and that will hopefully, I don't know, hopefully it'll look better that way. But I'm kind of going for like a gold that changes to black or like a warm, this isn't even gold, this is like bronze. So it'll be perfect for f like fall September colors. Wish me luck. All right, so this is the color changing one. So you can see the two colors, there's clear and then there's like a blackish dark. I don't even know if it's black, it's more like a maroon. So we shall see. One color is when your hands are warm, the other color is kind of like a mood ring for your nails. I've done this before with a pink and white color and it worked really, really well. So let's try it with this. All right, so I just wanna show you what the nails look like when they're warm. So I just had them in the nail lamp. So they go clear on the, the 
polish, but because I put the gold behind it, so there's some light, like a lighter goldish bronze. And then whenever they get cold, I'll show you later, I'll put my hands, once this is set, I'll put them in a glass of cold water and you'll be able to see. But it's really cool when you do a tip because then you can have like an ombre effect. I'm just not interested, but so far so good. So I'm gonna do another coat of this one. I just do thin coats, cure it for about 60 to 90 seconds, and then I'll put the no wipe top coat on top and I'll be good to go. By the way, I want to show you the, like a primer. This is another primer that you can use for your nails. The last and final step is to do a no wipe top coat. So you can do a wipe top coat if you want to, but that would mean that you need some rubbing alcohol, which is super annoying. So I just do a no wipe top coat. You can do this brand, which is called Amel. All of the nail polish I've been using, by the way, are this Ameli. Is that even what it is? Amel, yeah, Ameli. And they come in kits. There is also this one that I have, no wipe top coat. So put it in one last time for about 60 to 90 seconds. What I like about this lamp is when I take my hands in and out, it'll start on its own and the timer will start. Or you can set the, the button on the top here. So like I can do 99 seconds and it'll turn off whenever it's ready to go. And it's also just a way stronger, like just check the wattage whenever you're by, I think it's a voltage or one, one of the two, just check for the higher number. Like don't get one that is like 30 watts. I have this strengthening cuticle oil, so I'll just put that on, but it's all dry. That's what I like about this. Like it, once it's done, it's done. I don't have to be careful. I don't have to worry about nicking them or anything. And that'll last about three weeks. And that took about 30, 40 minutes, not even. I was talking to you, so it took a bit longer. So let me show you what these will look like in a glass of cold water so you can see the color changing. All right, let's test it. So my hands are warm right now. So I like that, that it's like the darker bronze when they're warm, I guess. Maybe my hands are cold. If my hands are cold, then I'll go outside and stick them in the hot tub or something, or we'll, we'll boil some water. <laughs> I'll put my hands in some hot water. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, maybe my hands are cold, I don't know. My hands are cold. Okay, let's do hot water. Okay. And then this one stayed out. So it's cool whenever, it'll kind of go like ombre too. I am going to grab a good book, some sunglasses, and go outside in the pool. I am ready. Okay, so I'm going to grab possibly a rum punch, possibly a pina colada flavored liquid IV and go sit outside. I'm loving this book. A fun fact, I had to buy this book used for a second time because I think I left it you know, when we went to the wolf cabin last fall, I was reading this book and I was never able to finish it. So I'm gonna go finish it outside. So I got my phone, I'm gonna go grab a cuppy and go outside. If you guys enjoyed the vlog style, please let me know in the comments down below what you guys wanna see next. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I will see you guys very, very soon, possibly in Disney. Might film something before. I'm thinking of filming like what I'm gonna stuff into my Disney bag because you guys seem to love that style of video. So if that's something you guys wanna see, let me know and I will see you guys next time. Bye dudes. Who are we?